Hello everybody and welcome to today's tropical update. So we continue to watch Invest 91L and as of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Tuesday, August the 30th, 2022, Invest 91L has a 50% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next 48 hours and an 80% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next five days. And then we have a, another system coming Africa, coming off of Africa with a 20% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next 48 hours and a 40% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next five days. And this video will, will primarily focus on Invest 91L. Taking a look at the satellite imagery of Invest 91L, it's still uh, very disorganized looking, although the convection has increased dramatically since yesterday. So we're going to have to see if this trend continues. It is still contending with some wind shear, some uh, southwesterly sh shear on the western side. As you can see, the clouds blowing from southwest to northeast and some northeasterly shear on the southeastern side as the clouds are blowing from northeast to southwest. So it's going to have to battle this wind shear for the next two to three days, and I don't expect this to become a tropical depression or storm until September the 2nd. Now looking at the uh, official computer model guidance from the Hurricane Center, you can see that uh, the uh, models are still taking it north of the Lesser Antilles, north of Puerto Rico and the Hispaniola, and are starting to curve it out to sea uh, towards September 6th and 7th. However, Bermuda, you're still going to have to watch really closely for the system as it's likely going to be strengthening by the time it makes the curve northeast by September the 6th or 7th. So I'm going to really watch out for you in Bermuda. And looking at the intensity model guidance, um, most of the models are making Invest 91L a tropical storm in the next three to four days with several of the models uh, strengthening Invest 91L to a category one hurricane by September the, the 4th and a few even take it to category two status by September the 6th and 7th. So uh, we're going to continue to watch the intensity model guidance as we get closer to any potential land impacts. Now I don't normally cover the Western Pacific, but we have an absolute monster of a typhoon, a super typhoon in fact, that is barreling towards the islands of southern Japan near Okinawa, and this is a perfect looking symmetrical uh, storm. It's got, it looks got that classic pinwheel shape, it's got just a solid core of convection, a perfect looking eye and eye wall. So uh, if you are anywhere in southern Japan around Okinawa or the islands, you really need to prepare for this because this has maximum sustained winds of 130 knots, which is the equivalent of a 160 mile per hour category five hurricane. And looking at the official uh, forecast track, for Typhoon Hinema, Typhoon Hina, Hinamore. Um, th this is the uh, Japanese equivalent of the National Hurricane Center. It is expected to move just north of Miami, Daitojima, uh, by the uh, by August thirty first with maximum sustained winds of 135 knots or about 170 miles per hour and then is expected to move southwest between September the 3rd or between August the 31st and September the 2nd, slow down and then curve northwest between September the 2nd and September the 4th, making a potential landfall near M Miyakojima and Ishigajima between 
uh, September the 3rd and the 4th as a storm with about 95 to 100 knot winds, which would, I believe, be equivalent to a Category 3 hurricane. So you guys in southern Japan, in these islands, you really need to pay attention to Super Typhoon, Super Typhoon uh, Hyanamor because this could become a devastating storm. So make sure you get ready for that. Uh, thanks for watching today's tropical update. I'll continue to update you guys on Invest 91L and Typhoon Hinanamor uh, as the days progress. So have a wonderful day, my friends.